Hi, it's One Click Lindsay from trafficandleads.com. Today, I wanted to talk about newsletter content. Now, hopefully, you have this mailing list and at least once a week, you're sending this list some valuable content. Today, I wanted to give you some ideas on what that content could be. I really hate the word newsletter because that is so boring. But for today's purpose, we will call it newsletter. Now, what should you be sending? First and foremost, if you've released any awesome blog, posts or any other awesome content, include that in your newsletter. Second, don't make it formal. Pretend you're writing that newsletter to one customer. Be relaxed and be really, really easy going about it. If you come across too formal, super boring, people will unsubscribe. Third, make sure you have some nice little bulleted lists of items in your, in your newsletter. You don't want these really long paragraphs of boring content. Uh, bullet item list it and send them back to your blog or your website. Uh, fourth, testimonials are always really super nice to put in your newsletter. For example, in my last newsletter, I just told all of my subscribers about a really cool Facebook campaign I ran that worked out really well. That, now that's a testimonial kind of disguised as a learning tip. Those things are always really important to put in your newsletter. Now, most important, make sure you're sending out those newsletters very, very consistently. If you send one out in one, 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 once a month, and then next month you send one out three times a week, people are gonna unsubscribe. Make sure people are looking forward to your content, they know when to expect it, and your unsubscribe rate will be way less. Now this is One Click Lindsay with trafficandleads.com where the solution to your slow growth is just one click away.